G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is my weekly wrap up. All right, so happy Sunday, Pepsi cheers. I hope wherever you are, you've had a great weekend. I've had a great week. Oh my gosh, I've done all my videos. I was so fortunate to do an awesome bonus video on Friday. Uh, thanks to all you beautiful people who purchased from my Etsy store. Uh, due to that, I was able to fully fund my UK trip. I am so stoked with that. So now when the time comes when we want to go, there's nothing limiting, limiting me just hopping on a plane and going. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited about that. And thank you, thank you. So in this video, I will not be uh, unstuffing any money. Uh, while that might be sad for you guys, because I know you guys like to watch unstuffing, I am very grateful and stoked with myself that I didn't spend money this week. Like I didn't overspend. I didn't have to worry about taking any money from my envelopes. Uh, I did go to the spa yesterday. Ooh la la. I, I got a massage done. I got a facial done. Uh, but I didn't spend a cent because it was gifted to me from my birthday back in December. So I didn't have to spend any money and I felt so relaxed so zen walking out of that place it was awesome absolutely beautiful uh, and then what I did was I also made a purchase last week but it finally came in this week uh, I purchased two coins from the mint and people in the past have rightfully asked me uh, where do you how do you pay for these coins that you show us so what I do is I'll either take it out of my weekly spending or my buffer so I do have an online buffer that I contribute to each week with my pay I just leave a little bit in there and I'll just use it for these kind of purchases Purchases. So things that, you know, unexpected because I only purchase coins when I kind of like the ones that I want to get. The, you know, I don't purchase every coin that's released. So first up is the Tooth Fairy coin. Now they've, they've been releasing these every year since 2020. So this is the 2023 one. And this one is a little bit extra special for me this year because my nephew finally lost his first tooth this year. So I'm really glad to have that. And this is unlimited. So don't go on eBay and spend a ridiculous amount of money. If they're saying they're sold out on the mint, just they'll, they'll re-release them because it's unlimited and they'll just print these on demand. So that's that one. And then next up is the Centenary of Legacy. Now this is a $1 coin and unlike the $2 coin, this unfortunately does have a low mint. So it's three. 30,000 and I don't mean unfortunate because that's awesome that it is a low minted coin for collectors but it just means that people have bought all these up and now are flipping them on eBay for a stupid amount of money so if you do see this coin and go oh I want that just wait the prices will come down it's just been released so there's a bit of a hype at the moment but yeah if you don't know what legacy is legacy is a charity foundation that uh, vo dedicated volunteers who basically help and support uh, families of veterans so again that just makes me a little bit even more annoyed that people are flipping this coin because it's for chat it's a it's trying to support a charity um, but you know I've been vocal about my opinion in the past it is what it is what can you do there's nothing I can do about this but anyway uh, I just wanted to buy this coin because you know I just really love when the mint works with charities because they've done a Smith family coin in the past and I just like when they help charities and help bring awareness to these charities and I, I think this is great so I'm glad and stoked that I have one of these and one of these in my collection now and then to end I just want to tell you guys about two new movies that I watched this week so the first one being Wrath of a Man I finally watched this movie this has been on my list to watch for ages I think it's been out for a year or two now and Jason Statham typical movie of his actually him walking around with a chip on his shoulder trying to get vengeance for something and very action lots of twists and turns you know if, if that's something you're into definitely give that one a crack because it's good uh, and then the next one was of the road dance now I had to go and watch this one via rental over on the app store uh, because it's not on any streaming services yet but this was one that I saw a trailer for a while back and I thought oh that sound that looked like me I like this kind of movie so it's a period drama set in Scotland uh, in 1919, 19, yeah, around 1919, I think it was, because it was World War One, And yeah, I just really enjoyed it. It was about this young woman who unfortunately goes through a horrible ordeal, which, you know, is sensitive and it's triggering for some, so please be warned. Uh, and yeah, it's just a great movie though, because it's how it's told, how the people interact. Uh, there's like 
a great twist there's romance it's oh i just really enjoyed it um it's not normally you know a lot of people might watch these kind of movies and go oh that was boring but i just really enjoyed it so if you're into a period drama give that one a go because i really quite liked it and then that is it. I cannot believe that another week is done. I, you know, this year is just flying by. So I'm looking forward to doing my weekly cash stuffing tomorrow. So I hope wherever you are, you have a great Sunday Arvo. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye.